K YouTube, this is BX Bomber Seven One Eight. I know I took a long hiatus, but I'm back. Um, just got a new graphics card. Um, the last video that I showed with a graphics card was the Forty Eight Fifty, um, the HIS. But I don't. I sold that graphics card a while ago because I had stopped gaming for a little while. Um, I sold it just to recoup some funds. I went ahead and got something just to hold me over. And um, the graphics card that I had to hold me over, believe it or not, was a uh, right here Sapphire. 4670 this is only the 512 megabyte version so this is the graphics card that i got and i was running with for a while a little while now um and i got it because i wasn't doing that much gaming i was doing mostly more um htpc with my computer um but now i just copped um battlefield bad company 2 and i'm going to cop um warhammer Dawn the war 2 and a couple other games so now i'm getting back into gaming so I had to pick a graphics card. Now, the reason why I got the MSI R5770 Hawk was because I was looking for um, a graphics card. My budget was um, under $200. And, um, you know, I was trying to look for something good that's decent for gaming but won't break the budget. Um, I wound up looking at the 5830, but the price for that was too high. Um, then I was considering um, the 5750 and the 5770 so I went ahead and looked at some reviews and um, I discovered that the 5770 would be the best bet for me to get uh, now the only thing was I was trying to figure out what manufacturer you know had the best card for the money I was looking at the um, Asus 5770Q core um, and I read some reviews on it it was kind of mixed reviews I mean more good views than bad reviews but um, you know I looked into it and it didn't really stand out too much I just wanted to get it to match my Asus motherboard but then I was like whatever so I looked into this every review on the net that I've seen about this gives this card rave reviews um, even on Newegg you know most of the people who purchase it I say maybe about 80% of the people who purchase this card gives it rave reviews now I was a little skeptical you know even though I have an MSI um, ATI theater 650 TV tuner in my um, computer and that's been running solid for a long time now over a year um i said okay you know what let me get this a try so right now i'm just showing y'all um an unboxing of this um you know without further ado i'm gonna go into um the specs so you can see why um i was so amped up to get this uh so as you can see on the front uh you got the ati crossfire x ati infinity if you want to run three monitors at once and you also got, um, just as you know, this is the ATI Premium Graphics Badge. So, you know, it's an ATI um, graphics card. It's made by MSI. All right. MSI has a sticker here um, that's advertising the Trin Frozar 2 Thermal Design, which is the um, three heat pipe, heat sink, and dual 80 millimeter fan um, cooling apparatus that they have on there. It also say, it says here that you get dual PWM fans and also is three heat pipes um, and that's good for transferring heat from the uh, from the graphics card to the um, heat sink and then finally allowing it to be cooled off by the fans all right uh, we see here we got one gigabyte of GDDR5 a sapphire functionally had a 512 megabyte GDDR3 Whatever. DirectX 11 DirectX 10.1 Display port and HDMI. This had VGA, HDMI, and DVI. And this also has DVI too. So now, this is what really blew my, me away about the card when I researched it and looked into it. First of all, look at the presentation. Now, mind you, this is a mid range card, upper mid range, but it's still a mid range card. MSI put a lot of effort and just, wow, they put a lot of stuff into this mid range card. I, I was really shocked for the price. I wound up spending $174.99 for the card. Um, but the fifteen dollar rebate. So in about two months, I'll have that fifteen dollars back, and the total cost will be one fifty nine ninety nine. I didn't pay anything for shipping. That's an awesome deal. Now I'm, we're gonna look into it to see why this card is so mind blowing. First of all, look at the phase, the power phase design that we have on here. Now the average um, fifty seven seventy reference card has four plus one phase for the power. The Hawk has a 7.1 power phase, which is highly exceptional. 
for supplying smooth, reliable power to all the components on the board and thus increasing the life um, span of this card. Um, also, MSI is really pushing um, the fact that they use military class components, top quality stuff that they put in this card. Now, mind you, the price is $174.99. And some of that high quality stuff that they have in here is the high C cap, the highly conductive capacitor. As you can see, what they have here, um, they place a rare metal in it. And that rare metal is tantalum. Um, it's incredibly stable. It's extremely highly conductive. It's 50% less power leakage. It stabilizes the GPU power and gives you better overclocking. And it's used on space shuttles and satellites. Now, how awesome is that? That's cool. Um, it also comes with solid capacitors. Um, you know, this is something that um, Gigabyte is renowned for. Um, you know, and I had a Gigabyte boards in the past, and it was really rock solid. Um, you know, because a lot of the old Asus boards had the capacitors that was exploding. But um, they use solid caps on this card. So, according to MSI, it gives you 10 years longer lifetime. For the car, no explosions, extremely low ESR, lower temperature, and high efficiency. They also use solid state chokes on here, which is wow. It also has a pure iron core in the middle. Um, it's new generation form in one coke, as they put here. Choke, sorry. No buzz noise, higher maximum current output, better protection for of power surges, and is designed for overclocking. Now, if you know anything about um, the old ring chokes, um, they would like rattle and vibrate because um, they made out of coil with some kind of metal inside. The solid state ones has no vibration, makes no noise, and is made of pure iron. That's tight. Up here, we also got the V checkpoints. Um, the V checkpoints is pretty much um, uh, input on the card itself that allows you to connect um, a voltage meter. So you can measure the voltage directly on the board itself without any um, software. And you can also read the temperature, and that's that's pretty cool. Um, also, like you know, most of you probably know about the MSI Afterburner software. This is it right here, and this allows for overclocking, allows you to increase the voltage on the card, and all that fun stuff. Now we also have the dual two 80 millimeter fans on it, um, multiple heat pipes, three heat pipes to wick the heat away from the core, um, high density heat sink. It's um all aluminum heat sink, um, a nickel plated copper base. Now the base that sits and comes in direct contact with the GPU core is actually a copper base, but it's nickel plated, and that helps to um, absorb more heat. It makes direct contact, as you can see, and um like again they advertising that it's 13 degrees Celsius cooler than the average reference. This here is a preview of the card. So let me go ahead and open up the card. I spent a lot of time. Let's take the card out. All right, here's the card. You can see it's sitting here. Take the plastic off. First thing we see here is a crossfire bridge. Okay, move the card out. Just take a look to see what's in here. Okay, we have a quick start guide. We have a uh, another software guide. We have the afterburner drivers and the ATI drivers. We also have a VGA to DVI connector. We also have um, DVI to HDMI. You have the Molex, the six pin power, and these are for the um, voltage meters that connects to the V point. Alright, now we're going to take out the card, we only got a few seconds on this, but let me get it out for you, so you can see it, and here it is, I must say it's very hefty, so you know some top quality stuff in there, um, it has covers on it, but here's the display port, HDMI, DVI, it also even has a protector here on the PCI Express slot. Now, mind you, this is PCI Express 2.1. My board is 2.0, but it's um, backwards compatible. Look at the heat pipes on that thing. Wow. 
Hope you enjoyed, guys. So stay tuned.